Hi there you, my dear beading friends. I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading. Halloween is coming and today I'm going to show you in super easy steps these earrings for Halloween moon with bats. I provide you with absolutely free beading pattern. So I'm sure even if you are a beginner, you will be able to make this with the easy step-by-step -step instructions. If you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't. Also, please like, share and comment. You help me so much with these actions. And if you want to support me, you could become a member. And I have two courses for members waiting for you there, plus some additional videos and I will add more in future. So you could check this one out. Now, without further ado, let's start with the list of the materials. Okay, guys, so what I'm using here for this video are four colors of 11 0 seed beads, yellow, orange, red and black. I'm using earring findings. This is Nyman Island thread that is 0.3 millimeters of thickness or size D. I use size 11 beading needle. You could use similar size of needle. This is a pattern that I created myself and I'll put links in description to see how you could make your own beading pattern. I will put it on my Facebook page for all of you to see it. And these are scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and this is my pattern. I created these earrings with the brick stitch, but if you're not familiar with it, don't worry, I will show it step by step. So first we have a row with five yellow beads and I will show you now how to add them. We need two yellow beads. I'm going to slide those down. I will leave here a small tail and later I will secure my work with it. And as I have those two beads, I'm exiting through one of them and I'm going backwards through the other one and when I pull you see what I have a loop between my beads and you see the holes I are pointing in this direction and they are touching side to side okay in my next step I'm going in the next yellow bead then I take another yellow I go back through this one And again through the newly added bead. And I have three beads next to each other. I'm taking the fourth one, going back. Okay, I added the fourth one and backwards through it. And I said I need five. go like this and through the last one and don't worry only the first row is that strange and I don't like how these beads sit guys I want them to sit next to each other in a straight line that is why I will do an additional action here I will go back through all of the beads one more time Well, just like that okay I just went through all of them one more time yeah and now you see how they sit nice and straight okay let me take my pattern and what I have here is like a double what we can call a double brick stitch now um, we have columns of two beads in each step of the next row and how can I add these columns well I take four beads guys and again don't worry I will show it in easy steps I take four beads and I go under you see these thread bridges that I have between my beads here I go under the first one of them between the first and the second yellow bead okay and I have this now I go through this column of two beads that is closer to the center of my work. 
and I'm pulling. Then what I want to do is to reinforce this column by going one more time through those beads and now I have this. Okay, let me grab my pattern again to consult with it. Okay, so what we did guys are these two first yellow columns, but if you notice here is another yellow bead and I want to add this one as well guys. Okay, how can we add here another yellow? Well, it's easy. Just go in this yellow, grab this one and go like this back in circle and you will have this yellow added here. But what else I want to do is to reinforce it by going one more time through it like that and through this next bit. What, what I want to do next is go one more time through this bottom yellow and exit here in the same place. Okay, now I'm here again. Now let me consult with my pattern again. And you see here I have this yellow and these two columns and I need to add one, two, three, four columns and one more single yellow bead. So I take two beads, I go under the next thread bridge and I go back through these two yellow beads. another column another column you see here under the last thread bridge go back and go through it backwards And as I said, I need one more column here, but I don't have any more thread bridges. That is why I'm going to use this last one one more time to add the last column. Okay. And I have it. And what I said when I was looking at my pattern is that here I need another yellow bead, but a single one. Okay, I'm adding it and I will reinforce my work like this and I have this row ready guys. Then what we need to do is to take the pattern again and start the next row and as you might see above this yellow bead we have four yellows again. Okay, I take these four yellows and I go here under the first thread bridge that I have. Then I go through the bead which is closer to the center. In, and then it's not obligatory guys, but I feel like reinforcing. So I will do this. I go through these beads and backwards through these two. Okay, then uh, what I saw is that here I need a single yellow bead. And don't worry, these single beads will be only for the first two rows and this is the second row and after that we won't have them until the center. Okay, so here I have a single bead, one more single bead added. 
and I want to reinforce this single bead to make it stay nice and tight then I go through this bead and through the following and go back through these two yellows okay then okay I did this one and this two now I need one two three four yellow columns okay Then I take a black and a yellow and I go here under this next thread bridge another two yellow beads next thread bridge And again, two yellow beads, but since I don't have any more thread bridges, I will use this same thread bridge that I've been through with the previous two beads. And as I said, this is the last step where I'm adding a single yellow in this manner. Okay. I have my first three rows ready. Now, I will grab my pattern and here guys you see you have only rows with two beads without single beads so it's getting easier first I need four yellows each row I start with four yellows and with these four yellows guys until the center when I increase my work each next row is with more beads than the previous one this means I increase so when I increase I will always go under the first thread bridge. You will see what what should I do when I decrease when I'm up to this step, okay? But now this is the case. Go under the first thread bridge and just add those beads. And here I feel like reinforcing. Okay, my friends, and let's see what we have next. We have a black and a yellow, two blacks, a yellow and a black, two blacks and a black and a yellow. Okay, I will add them. As I said, a black and a yellow go under the next thread bridge. two blacks next thread bridge a yellow and a black two 
two blacks. Then a black and a yellow. And with this, my first bat, guys, is ready. Now, until the end, I need to add five yellow columns. And I will do this off camera. Okay, I added the first one. And I will add three more and we'll be back for the last step. And I'm here, guys, where I need to add the last yellow column. And I add it here at the last thread bridge. The same way that I showed you before. Okay. Now I have this. Then it is time to consult with my pattern. I need now two columns of two orange beads. And as always, I will start with four beads like in each and every row when I increase. Okay, and I take four orange beads. I go back here under the first thread bridge. Then I go back through these two orange beads. And although it's not obligatory, I feel like reinforcing my beads. Okay, let me consult with my pattern again. I need two more columns of orange beads and then orange and yellow. And this orange and yellow repeats one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. And then I have only one column of two yellows. Okay, I'll do this off camera. You can pause on it. Do this by yourself and meet me for the last step. Okay, guys, I hope that if you paused on the pattern, you were able to do this row. If not, you could pause here. It's not late and you can do it. Now I'm at the last step where I need to add my last two yellow beads. And what I do is absolutely the same thing. I go back through them and pull. Okay. Now, guys, I'm here where I need to make the widest row of my work. And it starts with four orange beads, then continues with two more orange and then black orange, black orange, two orange and so on until the end. I will show you the first two steps and then you will pause on the pattern and do it by yourself. I still increase guys and this is my widest row of my work. And that is why I will take four orange beads. And again, I will go under the first thread bridge that I have here. Then I will go through the two orange that are closer to the center of my work. And as always, I feel like reinforcing in this work. Okay, and let me show you the third step as well, which is black and orange and go under this thread bridge and backwards okay then what you need to do guys is to take this pattern and pause on it and that now what i need is black orange two orange two black and so on until the end Okay, pause on it and I'll meet you at the last step. Okay, guys, and I, as I added my beads following my pattern, here I am at my last step where I need to add my last two beads at the same thread bridge as I did before. 
And from now on, guys, I will be making decreasing brick stitch. Why decreasing? Because I will have less beads in my next rows than in the previous ones. And how I do this, it's pretty much similar. Okay, you see now um, what I have here. I have four orange beads for the beginning of my row. I take those four and what I do is that I go under the second thread bridge. Under the second thread bridge and here it is obligatory to reinforce my beads because they stretch they don't sit nice and tight next to each other. If it wasn't obligatory when you do increasing brick stitch here, this step is obligatory to reinforce them. Okay. I have this. Then I continue absolutely the same way, adding them two by two under each next thread bridge and I will let you do this row by yourself just I will grab the pattern and now we are up to here uh, the first three columns are ready and we need to add two orange orange and black two blacks orange and black two blacks and so on until the end. Okay, pause and continue and I'll be back for the last step. Okay guys, and I'm sure that if you have followed the pattern, this is what you have. And now I am at the last step where I just add two orange beads at the last thread bridge. Because I decrease, I don't need to add more beads at the same thread bridge at the end but I do it this way, okay. Now, let me consult with my pattern. I grab it. I'm up to, to this row, okay? And now I will start the next row and I will show you one more time how I'm starting decreasing brick stitch. I started with four orange beads, like the increasing one. But instead of going under the first thread bridge, I go under the second thread bridge. And you see how they sit away from each other because they are stretching as we go under the second thread bridge, which tells us that we need to reinforce. It's obligatory at this step. I need two orange beads. And this is what I have. Now I'm going to take my pattern again and I will pause on it to continue. So I have these three columns of two orange beads and I will continue with three more columns of orange beads, red and orange, then black and red, and four columns of two red beads. Okay, pause, do this, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and I hope you're up to this step now, after pausing and doing all of those steps according to the pattern. So this is what I have now. Let me grab my pattern and see what's coming up next. Okay, this is the next row and here I don't need to add four beads in the beginning because here, as you may see, one bead of these four is missing. So I will take only two red beads. I take two reds and because my next row is decreasing, what I do is that I go under the second thread bridge instead of under the first one. Yeah, I always when you decrease, do this, okay? 
that I'm going to reinforce my work. Okay. I'm reinforcing it. Now let me consult with my pattern again. Here I need one more red bead plus black and a red. That's why I'm going to take black, red, black and I go under the next thread bridge and I will go in these two beads that are next to the center of my work. Okay. If you want here, you can reinforce this step. It's not obligatory, but I feel like it. Because first I added one, then three, and I want to unite them in this way. Then here I need red and black, then again red and black, and I will continue up to this last step following the pattern. And when I'm up to this step with the two orange, I'll be back to show you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and I just added these two orange beads. You see where I am? I added these two orange beads and my next step will be to add one orange bead here. And how I'm going to do this? I will just go back through the previous two beads. Then I will exit only through this orange, not through the above one, only through this one. And I will take one orange here and add it at this thread bridge, just like this. Okay. And because I don't like how this bead sticks out, I will go like this and I will reinforce it even one more time. Okay, and I have this now. Let me consult with my pattern and what I have next. Okay, I have orange and red. Okay, I have orange, red and one red above them. And I will start again and I will start again by first picking up the orange and the red. And because I'm decreasing, I will go under the second thread bridge of this row. And I will reinforce these beads to stay next and to stay nice and tight next to each other. Let me take my pattern again. Here, after I added this orange and this red, I need one, two, three more red beads. Okay, I take this three and I go under the next thread bridge. Then back through these two. And reinforcing. I prefer to reinforce here. Yeah. Then I will take my pattern again. Okay, so now what I have is this orange plus these two red columns. And I will continue adding one, two, three, four more red columns. And I'll be back to show you how I'm adding this one. Okay, and after I added four more red columns, I'm here. And I need to add just one red bead here at this thread bridge. And how I do this, I go like this. Then I'm exiting only through this red here. Take one red and go under the next thread bridge. 
and backwards through it. Now you can go back in this one and then here and if you want you could reinforce this joint one more time just to have a have it better looking okay let me grab my pattern here guys i have one two three four five red beads and i will add them with single brick stitch here i was doing double brick stitch these ones will be with single brick stitch instead of four i take two beads and because i decrease i go under the second thread bridge then i go through the one which is closer to the center like i did before and always when i make decreasing brick stitch i reinforce obligatory now i will add three more red beads to finish this row okay one And now guys, I'm here where I need to do my last step to add my earring finding. I want to make some repositioning here. I will grab my earring, uh, a seed bead, my earring finding and a seed bead and I will skip the central bead here and I go in the next one. Okay. Now this is what I have. And I will make additional reinforcement by going through some beads in this direction. And then going backwards through this joint that I have here. Okay. Then I want to make a knot and cut my thread. Before I do this, I will make additional reinforcement here. Do reinforcements of the beads to give them better shape. Okay, whenever you feel it's you need to do this, okay? Especially when we work this don't shape beads we need to reinforce them more instead of if we work with uh, like uh, delicate beads which, which are more square shaped okay now i will make a loop and go twice through the loop i've made and i'm going to pull then i will go through some beads in this direction and I'm going to cut this tail thread. Then guys, I will put my needle on this end. I will go through some bead, make the same knot, then go through some more beads and cut this tail thread. I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now my Halloween moon seed beads earrings are ready. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you're new here, consider subscribing. You also help me so much by liking, sharing and commenting. Check my Facebook and Instagram pages. You could also support me by becoming a member 
and two bidding courses are waiting for you in the membership area plus plus additional tutorials and more will be added in future check this option in description or at the join button thank you so much for staying here with me until the end now click on the playlist that you see on your screens with halloween tutorials and continue watching